Hello, this is a video you can use as a resource for your homework tonight. We are doing lesson 3.4, multiplying using partial products. I'm going to suggest that if this is the method you're going to use, you're going to want to have a piece of scratch paper. I'm going to do number three. I'm going to look at my six first. This six actually represents 60 and I'm gonna multiply it by this number. This is actually 80. And this is why I'm telling you, you probably wanna use scratch paper so you can visualize all these zeros that you're going to cover up. I'm gonna cover up my zeros and get my base fact. Eight times six is 48. I covered up two zeros and so my partial product is 4,800. So I've done the 60 times the 80. Now I'm going to do the 60 times the 7. Again, this is where it would be helpful to have some scratch paper. I'm going to do the 60 times the 7. I know that if I cover up this zero, I'll have a base fact of seven times six, which is 42. I covered up one zero, so I wanna make sure I add that on. Now it's really important when you're adding up these partial products that you put them in place value order. So I don't wanna put the four here because it's not 4,000, it's 400. Make sure you're putting it in the right place value. Now I'm going to look at this 4. This 4 is in the 1's place, so it's just a 4. But I'm going to multiply it by this 8, which is in the 10's place. So what I'm really saying is 80 times 4. I can cover up this 0 and use the base fact 8 times 4 which is 32. I covered up one zero, so I wanna make sure I add that back on. So I need to add the partial product, 320. Last, I'm going to do four times seven. Now these are both in the ones place, so I can just use that as the base fact. Four times seven is 28. The last step would be to add these partial products to get your final product. And I'm going to go ahead and let you do that. Just be very careful if you're using this partial products method that you line up your place values when you're going to add. Thank you. Have a good night.